Once, there was a tribe named Bubalus and were known for being merchants. One day, while one of the men named Dano is wandering in the forest, he met a maiden residing on alluring beauty that anyone would be enchanted to. They never know that the maiden is a deity. Dano and the maiden became friends. and was then introduced to the tribe. The maiden seemed to be a blessing in disguise, for they start receiving grace from then on. The number of fishes increased together with the harvest. Dano and her tribe are more than thankful to the lady and showed her respect she deserved for being a blessing to them. Later on, the maiden exchanged vows to the man she met in the forest. And so, as an offering of her love, she invited him to her home to show her true self. Weeks have passed and the man seems to be overwhelmed of the riches they have. They were both enjoying their lives as a couple, but those days were short-lived. Dana became busy wasting and showing off their treasures. He forgot his wife. And in order to save her husband from greed, she decided to fulfill her duty as a trustee of the forest, even if it will cost her heart to break. On a starry night, while Dan was preparing himself for a rest, his wife spoke and said, Good night, my Dan. And as soon as she uttered those words, she disappeared leaving a bracelet with a round gold as the lining, with two arrows rotating slowly in the middle of it. The next day, Dano woke up under a tree in the middle of the forest, not knowing where did his wife go. He thought of going back to the tribe, hoping he would find his wife. On his way, he heard a voice saying, Remember me. He continued walking, not making himself bothered on what he heard. He thought of going back to the tribe, hoping he would find his wife. He named the only thing his wife left him as Rilo, realizing it's all about. Time. All he could do is to remember the first time they met. Oh, <laughs>